Hi everyone, I'm Susan Mulvihill. For my September 22nd garden column, I wrote about attracting birds to the garden. You know, birds are so much fun to watch. A lot of them are insectivores, so they help me out with insect control. And they bring a lot of diversity to the garden. So that's today's topic. We've lived on five acres for almost 30 years, which I can scarcely believe. And when we first bought this piece of property, there was nothing on it except a single foot tall ponderosa pine. That was it. And as avid bird watchers, my husband and I knew that there was no way birds would feel safe coming into our garden if it was so wide open. So I'm going to show you some of the things we implemented over the years that has really made the birds come in. And before I proceed, I want to point out that it doesn't matter what size your property is. All of these are good ideas that you can put into practice in your own garden. One of the first things that we did is we planted a windbreak on the west side of our property because boy can the wind blow in here. It comes from the southwest. And then the next thing we did is we created some island beds and some long borders and started filling them with trees and shrubs of all different sizes and types. It's important to have those different heights. Now birds need to have some type of cover to duck into if they're being chased by some type of a predator like a hawk or a cat. They need somewhere to roost in at night, maybe somewhere to build a nest and raise a family. And also they need food and many of the things that we planted provide them with that. This is a snowberry and look at all of those white berries. Oh my gosh. The birds absolutely love eating them during the winter months. In the spring, they have beautiful flowers. And of course, it's quite a thick shrub so they can hide in there or roost in there as needed. This is a golden currant and it has gorgeous yellow flowers in the spring, followed by these lovely black berries. And those berries will be a great nutritional source for birds this fall and winter. How about this lovely American cranberry bush? This is a native shrub that grows quite tall, up to about 10 feet, but I love it for so many reasons. First of all, in the spring, we get these gorgeous white lace cap flowers that are so beautiful. In the summer, we get berries. And then as you can see, as we're heading into fall, we've got the berries turning a lovely glistening red color. And you'll notice that the leaves are starting to turn color. So they add so much to the landscape. Now probably my favorite part is that those berries are going to feed some of the coolest birds during the winter months. And those include cedar and bohemian waxwings, which are two of my absolute favorite birds. Here's a red twig dogwood. And of course you can guess by the name that it's got red stems which are really pretty, especially in the winter months when there's no leaves around. But we've got these nice berries here that birds will be nibbling on, and also the leaves will turn red. So lots of great fall color. This is an ocean spray, which is another great native shrub. And even though it doesn't produce berries for the birds to eat, it certainly provides a thicket that birds can nest in, roost in, or hide in. And these flower clusters were a beautiful creamy white in the spring and summer. And the pollinators go nuts over them. So they definitely have earned a place in our landscape. I should also mention that the leaves turn a lovely peach color, which looks great in the fall garden. Another smallish tree we have in our landscape is this hawthorn. It has beautiful flowers that look like tiny little pink roses in the spring and then they develop these berries. You'll notice they're starting to turn color and they will be bright red this winter, which is quite the contrast when there's snow all around. Those berries are going to feed all kinds of birds. This is part of our arborvita hedge and it gives us a lot of privacy in the backyard. But the quail especially love to roost in here because it's nice and thick and they feel very safe. 
Now, I should mention, however, that deer think arborvitaes are delicious. And so these are only growing in our backyard, which is protected by a deer fence. What's right in front of the arborvita hedge is two large burning bush shrubs. And of course, they have fabulous fall color but they're also providing a bit of a thicket here that birds love to go into and to nest especially. So this summer we had a catbird family that was raised right inside here. And I always saw them ducking in there and I thought they must feel so secure. What's on the back side is a Korean spice viburnum, which is a wonderful shrub. They have fall color as well. And in the spring, they have gorgeous flowers that have these exotic fragrances. So all of this is a big thicket that the birds love. In addition to planting trees and shrubs, we have provided our bird friends with water sources for drinking and bathing, which is so important. Examples include bird baths like this one, a small pond, which is a little hard to see at the end of the season, and a large pond with a waterfall. Let me tell you, the sound of splashing water is a huge attractant. But even if you don't have room for a pond, you can always buy or make your own splashing water feature and you'll bring in the birds. What about supplemental feeding? We put out suet cakes for woodpeckers, although there are other types of birds that will eat it too, such as nuthatches and catbirds. We put out feeders of black oil sunflower seeds, and I should mention that if your budget only allows for a single type of feed, that is the one to choose because so many birds love them. During the winter months, we put out a thistle feeder and fill it with Niger thistle seeds. Those are a favorite of goldfinches, red poles, pine siskins, house finches, and juncos. And of course, we love attracting hummingbirds during the summer months, so we always put out nectar feeders for them. Now I know I probably harp on this, but when I do my fall cleanup, I always leave seed heads for the birds to nibble on during the winter months. Examples include black-eyed Susans, gloriosa daisies, coneflowers, sunflowers, and globe thistle. I hope this gave you some ideas for attracting birds to your garden. You won't regret it. Happy gardening.